Have you ever felt like you're pouring your heart out to your husband only to get silence in return? Or maybe he gets super defensive when you share your feelings and he starts gaslighting you. You just never seem to get that same emotional vulnerability in return. If this is you, you are not alone. In this video, we're going to dive into why your partner may be emotionally unavailable and what that really means. And most importantly, what you can do about it. Hi, beautiful souls. Mireille Nicole here, a relationship coach for high achieving, high value women who want to live their best life. I'm all about guiding you towards your happily ever after and helping you tackle the tough stuff in love with grace and wisdom. I record these videos because I want to help you realize that you have so much more power in your marriage, your relationship, or your dating life than you currently think. Today we're talking about a topic that many women struggle with in their relationship or their marriage. When your husband or partner is emotionally unavailable. This can be a frustrating and painful experience, but I want you to know that there are reasons behind this this behavior and there are also ways to address it. Let's start by defining what emotionally unavailable really means. So when someone is emotionally unavailable, we're talking about a person who has difficulty sharing or connecting with emotions. They might seem distant, closed off, or avoid emotional conversations altogether. For some people, this behavior can be subtle, like maybe deflecting with humor or changing the subject. For others, it's more pronounced. They might shut down completely when emotions come up. The common thread here is an inability or unwillingness to engage emotionally in a meaningful way. Now let's dive into three common signs that your husband or partner may be emotionally unavailable. Number one, he's guarded about his own emotions. This is the guy who might laugh off his feelings or make jokes to downplay them. If you try to have a serious conversation about emotions, he might change the subject or minimize what he's going through. It's not that he doesn't have emotions, he just doesn't feel comfortable expressing them. Number two, he shuts down when you talk about emotions. So you bring up something emotional and instead of engaging, he completely checks out. Maybe he withdraws, he becomes silent, or he leaves the room. This shutdown is usually a defense mechanism mechanism to avoid emotional vulnerability. Number three, he expresses his emotions erratically. One minute he's distant, the next he's reacting strongly and unpredictably. When emotions do come out, they can seem sudden, intense, or unbalanced because he's not accustomed to managing them openly and steadily. Now let's dig deeper into the five reasons he might be emotionally unavailable. And actually, I'm going to throw in a bonus number six reason. So keep watching until the end. Five reasons he could be emotionally unavailable. Number one, he has a different emotional style. It could simply be that he processes emotions differently than you. Maybe you like to talk things through immediately to find a resolution while he needs time to process his feelings alone. And this difference can create a disconnect if not acknowledged. Number two, it feels unsafe for him to share. Sometimes men feel emotionally unsafe because they fear your reaction. If he's worried that sharing his emotions will lead to anger, hurt, or disappointment from you, he may avoid sharing them altogether. Number three, he was taught that emotions are weak. Many men grow up with a message that showing emotion is a sign of weakness. He might be carrying around this belief, making it difficult for him to engage emotionally. Number four, he has past trauma. Emotional unavailability can also stem from unresolved past trauma, whether from childhood, past relationships, or other life experiences. These wounds can make him weary of being vulnerable again. Number five, he could simply be the wrong person for you. Sometimes emotional unavailability is a sign that he's not fully invested in the relationship and he might not be the right person for you. It's important to recognize if this is the case and make choices accordingly. And now for the bonus reason, it could simply be the relationship dynamic. It's possible that the emotional unavailability stems from the dynamic between the two of you. Sometimes one partner's behavior can unconsciously trigger the other's withdrawal. The good news? You have the power to shift this dynamic, even if it's just by changing how you approach the relationship. I'm actually hosting a free workshop on getting back into your feminine power. I'm going to be talking all about this in more depth, so I'll put the link in the comments and description below, and I hope to see you there. Now let's reflect on whether he's truly emotionally unavailable or if it's about the way the two of you connect. I want you to ask yourself these questions. So if he's unable to connect through deep conversation, ask yourself, do you talk a lot or interrupt when he speaks? 
Are you giving him space to open up? Or are you trying to force the conversation? Do you get upset or sad when he shares his feelings? Are you letting him decide when he's ready to talk? Or are you pushing for the conversation? If it seems like he can't handle your emotions, ask yourself, are you sharing your feelings in a way that triggers guilt, blame, or shame? Does he try to fix the problem instead of just listening when you share? If so, remember, this is a natural male response and you can work with this. Are you clear about what you need from him emotionally or are you just hoping that he knows? Understanding emotional unavailability is the first step to healing it. Whether your husband is emotionally unavailable due to personal reasons, past trauma, or simply a mismatch in emotional styles, recognizing the signs and reflecting on your own role in the dynamic can help you start making changes. Remember, even small shifts in how you approach the relationship can lead to big changes over time. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. And register for the Feminine Power Workshop so we can work together to build stronger, more connected relationships. The links are in the comment below. See you next time and make sure to watch this video next.